Hey guys, what's going on? It's Doconic here, and as promised from earlier in the week, I'm going to be going over the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta events on top of their cards. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Hi guys, thank you for joining me here today. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are new here. Really appreciate the support. We're going to go ahead and jump into the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event. We'll be going over their events each of the levels, the, type, the bosses, the type of the attribute of each of the bosses when they change and everything, and the actual cards themselves. We're only going over those two at this point in time. I will not be going over the banner cards. I'm recording this the night before the actual event releases. When the event comes out with all the banner cards, I'll be doing a full review on all the banner cards for you and their Doken Awakenings. That includes the Super Saiyan Gotenks Doken Awakening, because I have not done that yet. All right, let's go ahead and start off with the Super Saiyan 4 Goku event. Scarlet Flames of the Ultimate Saiyan. That's a freaking sick title, by the way. I freaking love it. Um, I think they might have changed it a little bit on the global side, uh, but we're, ba we're I'm basing it off of the current wiki that is based off of the JP side. As you can see, the actual JP banner for it is in Japanese. So anyway, level one. Brave Crimson Warrior, Super Saiyan 4. So you go up against the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the kid version, and then he dokens or he transforms into the Grade 8 version. So he is a Super Agility, then he goes into a Super Strength, and you get three Super Saiyan 4 Goku medals um, for beating him. The next stage is going to be a Super 2 stage. Super 2 stage is freaking nuts, man. Um, he goes from the the, the same two first two stages stage one is his super saiyan 3 kid version and then he goes into his grade 8 version as a strength then he goes into a third stage which is his super saiyan 4 version he hits so freaking hard guys so hard be careful when he launches his attacks you're probably going to want to bring an agility team to take him on an agility team actually goes against him really freaking well because the only for the first stage you should be able to get through without a problem then the second two stages he's strength so he will not be going that hard against you he is weak against the link hatred of saiyans now i'm not going to go and tell you to go and use link skills with that or cards with that link skill there are two specific ones that actually have available you're looking at the additional information now it's the um the the Dreadful Fusion, Baby Vegeta, and the uh, Baby Janemba Fusion. Those two linked together may do well, but just bring an overpowering AGL team if you have him. I don't know. I have not seen any free-to-play guides on how to take on this event. If I run across one, I will do a video of free-to-play guide. I usually do those if I can find them. Um, I don't actually play the event. I just go over them. So if you're new here, that's what I'll do. I'll usually tell you the teams to build to take them on. Anyway, so all the characters that you see here on the bottom of the screen and the additional information, they are all ones that you can take on the event to weaken his um, his, his defense. So make sure you go up against him with, with those characters if you are lacking a really good AGL team. But remember, you can power through it. On Super 2, Super Saiyan 4, Goku cannot be stunned. Make sure you take that into consideration. He cannot be stunned. And he has 7 health bars. So the, it's a long battle. <laughs> it is a very, very long battle. Um, anyway, let's go over his card right now. Crimson Hero, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, his Undo Conversion, Leader Skill, uh, Super Strength Type, Key Plus 2, HP Attack and Defense Plus 100%. His, uh, extreme Strength Type, HP Attack and Defense Plus 40%. His Super Attack is 10 times Kamehameha, causes immense damage, and Defense 30% for 6 turns. He gets a huge Defense Boost. Uh, Passive Skill, World on His Shoulders. Attack plus 120%. Medium chance of evading the enemy super attack and continuing countering with enormous power. Link skills Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, prepared for battle, shocking speed, Kamehameha, and GT. His max stats are HP of 9300, attack of 9200, and defense of 3475. He requires 77 of the Super Saiyan 4 Goku medals to Doken Awaken, and he has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. Uh, oh, also, so this is just some additional information. They actually have this here on the wiki. His total max potential system is HP is 14,300, attack is 14,600, and defense is 8,075. Those stats, though! Holy crap! This guy is insane. By the way, just so you know, his best linking buddy is the Super Saiyan 3 Kid Goku from GT, the strength variant. Um, he is his best friend, so make sure you get to, to Doken Awaken him when he comes around and run him on the team along with him. Anyway, he Doken Awakens with 77 medals, and he Doken Awakens into Ultimate Super Saiyan 4 Goku. His new leader skill is Super Strength Types, 
key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. Extreme strength types, key plus 1, HP, attack, and defense plus 50%. Super attack is 10 times Kamehameha, causes immense damage to the enemy. Defense plus 30% for 6 turns. Passive skill, warrior of the galaxy, attack plus 150%. Medium chance of evading enemy super attack, encountering with tremendous power. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, Kamehameha GT, and Fierce Battle. Max stats are HP of 11,333, Attack of 11,456, and Defense of 4,514. He has a 12 key multiplier of 150%, and his max potential system is 16,333 HP, 16,856 attack, and 9,114 defense. If you guys were able, are able to get him up to super attack, or I'm sorry, super attack, 100% dupe system, this guy will literally tank everything and will destroy everything. He's insane. By the way, before I go on to the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, let me just state the leader skills. Guys, may, I'm going to do a separate like two-minute video clip on this just because I know this is going to be a thing. You, when you guys pull him, if you do not have your cards Z Awakened, your strength type card Z Awakened, that leader skill will not take an effect. If you don't have it Z Awakened, you will not get any of those buffs. They will just sit there and you will not be able to do anything. Your cards will not get those buffs. All right, they need to be Z Awakened at minimum in order for that to take into effect. You don't need to Z Awaken a TUR, a Transcendent Ultra Rare, or an LR, so that doesn't take into account. But anything under a TUR needs to be Z Awakened for that to take into effect. So let me go ahead and jump into the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event, the Crimson Blaze of Glory, the Invincible Saiyan. Uh, level 1, Red Flash, Super Saiyan 4. Uh, let's, the first one you go up against is a Strength type, uh, Super, or not Super Saiyan, Base Form, Vegeta from GT. Once you beat him, you go up against Technique, Super Saiyan uh, Vegeta. And once you beat him, you go up against a Super Saiyan 3, Strength Vegeta. So it's Strength Technique, Strength. It's a Z Hard event, and you get 3 medals for beating him. The next one on Super 2 is the same first 3 stages, Strength Technique, Strength. Then he goes over to an Agility. This one is a little bit more of a pain in the ass to go up against, I'll tell you that right now, just because of the different attribute types that you are going up against. Now, when I was on the JP side before I started recording and became a YouTuber, I took my Super Vegito team and a friend Super Saiyan for Vegeta. I just packed on an entire Super team of what I could just so that way they get everything that they possibly can. Um, so I but I also had the 70% lead, so I got lucky with that one. You know, if you guys don't aren't, don't aren't that lucky with those leads and the cards that I had, this is going to be a lot more difficult. Again, I don't know how to build a free-to-play team on this. I'll be looking into that in the future. But take your most powerful agility team, that's what I'll recommend, or your most powerful technique team. There's no intelligence on this. So if you bring, like, a, a Go Tanks team, you may be able to do this. I'll see, I'll you know, I'll do, I'll, I'll do some testing um, in terms of mono teams, mono, mono 70% teams, to see what will beat these two events. And I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll probably just do a couple like uh, a couple clips, like 10 second, maybe 15 second clips of all the different mono teams that I was able to, to actually beat this with. But uh, that's that's for the future, probably over the weekend. Additional information: Vegeta is weak against the Shadow Dragon's Link. So cool thing there, you have a whole bunch of rares. I mean, I'm not going to tell you to go to a battle on a 120 lead with a rare card, but if you're trying to actually beat him, you want to do a little bit of extra damage. You might need you're going to need that Link. If you rares all you have, then you're going to have to go for it. You do have the, let me see right here, Ice Cold Warrior, Ice Shenron. That's the one that's farmable from the Omega Shenron event, so that's the Intelligence one. So that one's a free-to-play card, so you can grind him out and go up against him. If you have Omega, I mean, the thing is, Omega is a Strength character, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult to go up against an Agility with a Strength. But is that the damage reduction? Um, yeah, I mean, overpower him if you can. If you can't overpower him, then try to go with the Shadow Dragon's Link and see what you can do. Um, I'll post up what I, what I can when I find it. So that way, you try to help you guys out. Uh, remember this on Super 2, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta cannot be stunned. Same thing as the Goku. And he has six bars of health. So that's what that's a little bit different than the Goku's Goku at seven bars of health. Let's go ahead and talk about his card really quick. Scarlet Flare, Super Saiyan 4, Vegeta. This is his Undoken form. Leader skill, Super Agility type, key plus two. HP attack and defense plus 100%. Uh, extreme Agility types is HP attack and defense plus 40%. So by the way, guys, this is the new meta. So this is going to be what's going to happen moving forward in the future for the next six months. All right, his super attack, final shine attack, causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers the attacked opponent's defense. Passive skill, burning rivalry, attack and defense plus 100%, 
medium chance of evading enemy super attack encountering with enormous power. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepared for Battle, Shocking Speed, Saiyan Pride, and GT. Max stats are HP of 89.20, Attack of 87.44, and Defense of 42.35. And he Doken Awakens with 77 of his own medals. And he has a 12 key multiplier of 140%. And the tremendous power that he uses to go after the opponent when he counters them is 350%. Now, I'm pretty sure that's just 350%. From his 12 key, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Anyway, he Doken Awakens with 77 of his medals, and his new leader ability, uh, similar to the Goku, and what's to come in the future is Super Agility Type Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 120%, Extreme Agility Type Key plus 1, HP Attack and Defense plus 50%. His Super Attack is Final Shine Attack, causes immense damage to the enemy and greatly lowers defense. Passive Skill, another secret strategy, Attack and Defense plus 120%, Medium Chance of Evading the Enemy's Super Attack and Countering with Tremendous Power. Link skills are Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, Saiyan Pride, GT, Fierce Battle. Max stats are HP of 11,715, Attack of 10,538, and Defense of 5,470. He has a 12 key multiplier of 150%. And I'm sorry guys, I don't have his max potential system that wasn't listed here on the wiki. Again, I just want to state it one more time. In order for the agility characters to take advantage of his leader skill, they need to be Z-Awakened if they are under the Transcendent Ultra Rare level. So if they are a base SSR, an SR, a Rare, or a Normal card, they have to be Z-Awakened in order for this leader ability to take effect. Please keep that in mind. I will be doing a short two-minute clip, like probably for Friday night or Saturday morning or both days, who knows, just so that way that message gets out there. Go ahead, let me know down in the comments below who you're summoning for. Hashtag Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Hashtag Super Saiyan 4 Goku for Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Thank you guys. Hit that sub button if you're new here. Thank you for joining me here today, and I'll catch you down in the comments below.